Hello, and welcome back to another evening of The Long Dark. My name is Michael Batman Guy, and today I've got a fresh cup of tea. I'm ready for a nice afternoon nap. Perfect time to get our character killed. We are sitting here at the top of Timberwolf Mountain in the tail section, huddled by the fire. Still at 11% condition, so first thing I need to do is get prepared for good sleep. Sun is going down. Uh, it's a perfect time to get a nice nap in. I definitely want a cup of tea, which I don't think I have produced yet. And uh, I've left one herbal tea in my inventory. We're gonna drink that and settle down for a nice long rest. Uh, sleep for 12 hours straight cover as much condition as possible. And that should put us right through the night and at sun up. Um, I am considering, however, um, oh well, one, I can put this back in my uh, tool container. Need back of tools. That was food. This is tools. There we go. What a difference a day makes. Okay, we should have enough room to stash the rifles. Ammunition, yeah. And the cleaning kits, perfect. Good, so this, this can focus on being tools and clothing for the time being. Um, I would like to work on repairing some things, particularly the Expedition Parka. It's going to require me to tear some stuff down. Uh, cargo pants definitely can go. We've got lots of extra thick wool sweaters we don't need. And with the climbing socks, you will never need a different pair of socks. There is no reason. I can understand uh, wanting to keep some thinner. It's going to get a lot colder soon. She's right. I can understand wanting to keep around um, lighter weight clothing uh, to change into uh, for different aspects, especially um, when you do have an opportunity to not be in the absolute freezing cold. Uh, but the state that I'm in now, I'm going to focus on this sleep. I'm kind of trying to wait out my endurance, um, my fatigue there, I want it to bottom out so I can sleep the full 12 hours. Um, so I think what I'm going to do here is let's make sure I've got a good hacksaw and we have a couple more containers to pop open. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Let's have a look through these. I might only get through the one. As soon as that thing turns red, it is time for tea and sleep. So lots of fire starting gear. How about on the other side? Scarf and toque. Wool long johns. Balaclava. Awesome. Okay, I agree. I think we could definitely use this. Okay, so the hats are just the same. So what you do this. A little bit more wind protection, but um, when fully repaired, it should be better. Usually tends to be the, the best uh, headgear item. Disadvantage, you can only wear one if you had two of them. And uh, let's see, what else did we find? Long johns, that's right. Uh, so we just have the one additional pair. So we'll wear a pair of wool, a pair of regular thermals. Alright, now that we are nice and cozy. Let's put some of those extras away. We'll be taking all this out um, and tearing it all down, I'm sure, pretty soon. Well, of course there's no more room. So why don't we work on tearing some of it up right now? Since we have nothing better to do. Um, I hate to do this to these things. Uh, just because they, they are so valuable. And I'm definitely going to keep it. At least one extra. 
but we'll harvest a couple of them here until we get absolutely exhausted. Uh, can we actually, maybe we can repair one? That'll take half an hour. You'd think that would be a little bit more tiring. Look at that, good as new. And I'm going to repair a second one here. I like having an extra hat. Well, I like to try to have an extra hat. Oh, there we go. Full exhaustion. Uh, the reason for the extra hat being in inclement weather, the hat tends to be one of the first things to get soaked through. Uh, so I like having another one that I can swap to. Like I said, tea counts as drink, doesn't it? This hot cup of herbal tea. Gives us the improved rest. And we should have plenty of calories now. Oh, nope. Not, not enough for 12 hours. Okay, let's grab... Got 500 of 900. So we're probably going to want to... Uh, yeah, snag one of these peanut butters. That'll be a full night's sleep. Right there. Top off the water because we will wake up very thirsty. But we will be nice and cozy. And hopefully reasonably healthy. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the fire. That's that's a real shame right there. Should have kept that going. That's okay. Um, thanks to our new and improved clothing situation, we don't really need it. I can actually take some of these charcoals. We can finally start mapping this place. Survey the local area. There we go. Tail section complete with cargo container. Alright. So having opened these, and these ones, I think these are the only two left. Let's pop these suckers open and see what we've got. And it's time to start thinking about what we're going to do next. Ooh, yes. Lanterns, tools. Excellent. Soda. Okay. Very nice. This pack is getting too heavy. So to let's carry. let's put the sodas away. And what else can we fit in here? I don't have the clothes in here. Since we're running out of space here, I'm gonna take the clothing out just for the sake of organization. And we are going to focus on tools in this one. I need one lantern. I'm guessing all the 97s are the ones that we just picked up. Oh, not enough room. Okay, anything I'm not wearing can go in. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that extra lantern. It can just sit out here on the floor. Like so. And we are going to explore a little bit around the rest of this upper region. You can see we've only got one down arrow now cold despite it being negative 20 degrees outside. So that's pretty good. We are near, getting near peak um, temperature from our clothing. Uh, really some of the only uh, improvements we can get at this point 
Be another pair of wool long johns. And then uh the animal hide based items. So it's gonna be lots of firewood out here if we wanted to stay up here a while, which I don't really tend um, intend on doing. I'd like to get down uh, get down off the mountain as quickly as possible. So everybody knows it's impossible to get down from a mountain. You get down from a duck or a goose. But I'm gonna attempt it all the same. Now if you remember our trip up, you'll know that going up or down the rope limits you on how much weight you can carry. You cannot be encumbered to climb the rope even down. So to compensate for that, so we've got lots of charcoal. We're gonna map this area nice and thoroughly if we can. And I'm not sure if that means reishi mushrooms spawn, or there's actually still one left that I missed. We're gonna check. I'd like to gather everything I can from up here before leaving. Uh, except firewood, of course. That we can always gather more of later. But theoretically, there's only so many uh, mushrooms growing in the world. And being the order that I am, I naturally want to gather them all. So let's come over to the wing. Over here. Go to that new location. Get that added to our map. Starting to get a little colder. Definitely feel the wind in my face. It's okay. I know of another little spot we can go to. Things numb. Hide out for the time being. I was hoping there was some old man's beard lichen up here, but doesn't look like any is growing on these trees. Oh, nope, there's some. Okay, excellent. Right where I wanted to go. By I need anything right now. This little cave. So let's stand right in the middle of these features and add them to our map. There we go. Look at all that good stuff. Yep, back to freezing. Okay. Okay, it will all be worth it. We could even. Light up a little fire right here, if we so desired. What does this guy have? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. That's that's probably why you froze to death. You didn't put all your firewood in the fire. Whew, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Have a couple of rocks. Not that there's any wildlife here to throw them at, so we'll just put those away for now. There we go. That's better. Coal. Something actually useful. All right. If push comes to shove, I will leave the coal behind as well, similar to firewood. Uh, it is technically a renewable resource. It does uh, continue to spawn inside of caves. Throughout your time. Wait. It's actually warm enough back here that I'm warming up. How about that? Alright, so what can we do to pass some time here? Uh, we can prepare our wound dressing. That'll be useful. We can prepare our reishi mushrooms. There we Oh, and we actually have enough for an extra set because they only use two at a time. But it used to be three. Maybe they changed that. And another rope. So That'll be nice. We can so dangle that off the side of the mountain. And the Wilderness Kitchen I have on hand, why don't we, uh, give that a read. Can't focus while hungry. Well, isn't that a shame. Okay, I think we've warmed up enough to make it back without taking too much damage. Falling again, but we're just gonna... Harvest some of these. I'm glad I did my mapping first. 
can see now it's all foggy out. Would not be able to produce a good map. It's low visibility conditions. We're just going to pick these things up. Carry them back to the plane with us. Or we'll take this stick along with us. Why not? It looks lonely out here. The hitbox on the old man's beard has always perplexed me. Sometimes it feels like you have to aim just underneath it in order to actually grab it. And I spot a little cairn over there. Let's go say hello. Story not yet written. But I, I too will thank the backers for Kickstarter for this game. Without them, it wouldn't have gotten to the state that it's in today. Which, in my opinion, is overall pretty good. Just enjoy the peace. You know, except for all the crows squawking at us. Gathering sticks up here on the top of the world. Well, mostly the top. This is the summit region, but as you no doubt saw, there's a little further peak. Wanted to climb to the tippy top. Um, I don't think you actually can. Yeah, the ascent there is just a little bit too steep. Unfortunately, maybe future update you get something like an ice pick will allow you to ascend steeper icy slopes. Alright, so back inside out of the wind, and it appears that that uh, wind reduction is enough to keep us uh, from going numb. Excellent. So what I'd like to work on now then, craft these together. Simplifies our inventory a little bit. And then we'll work on the clothing. Uh, I'm going to break down a few things uh, that I know I definitely won't want. Um, but also work mainly on getting everything on my person repaired. So just enough to do that. Uh, you, repairing is a skill. Yeah, if we take a look at our skills, carcass harving, harvesting. And then cooking, fire starting, ice fishing, rifle firearm, seems a bit redundant, but there you go, archery and mending. I want to rank this as quickly as I can, and uh, even in a long playthrough that I've done before, I've yet to max that out, uh, repairing everything I've come across. So if you're interested in getting this all the way to level 5, you don't want really to uh, break down clothing items if they're already damaged. You want to focus on repairing up as much stuff as possible, then break it down uh, and, re and repair it up like, just back and forth constantly. It's the only way you're going to grind those levels um, at any reasonable rate. Otherwise you're just having to wait you know, until the things you wear actually take the damage. Uh, the only trouble with that uh, way of thinking is oh, carrying these around. Okay, I guess that's as far as that goes. And you're not doing too bad. Can I repair you? But I need cloth as well. Yeah, okay. I don't have any extra cloth. So any repairs I make up here I have to come from tearing something up. So what do we have that's actually in decent shape? I wouldn't lose much of uh, socks. And again, the extra uh, thick wool sweaters. One cargo pants. But I really want to max out those skills. This is again thinking very long term, which I think we can do. 
uh, now that the cold is not killing us quite so quickly. It's just a matter of getting everything uh, down. So if we were to take uh, everything we had with us, we would pick that up. We would take that. We wouldn't be focused on the firewood. Uh, so I could drop that. We'll, let's say we take one with us just in case. Looking at 36 kilograms right there. In here is almost another 30 and well, 20, 25. Interesting that this uh, side of the container is actually smaller. I didn't notice that. But that's going to put us at more than double. Uh, which means we cannot move at all. So, unfortunately, we are going to have to pare it down somewhat. Uh, which means consuming some of our, our resources here. Um, some of the heavier items, like the quality tools, those could be broken down. Um, I have seen people break these down um, for the, the scrap pieces, I really advise against that unless, say, it's you know getting in the, in the red durability, just because you cannot make another tool. Um, if you really need this scrap in order to repair a different one, that's another story. Um, but I would say it's definitely worth the extra weight uh, just to have this tool, because you can never recreate it from scratch. Um, you can have improvised knives and, hacksaw and hatchets, um, but never a hacksaw and certainly never a heavy hammer, which you will need to make those improvised tools, so don't ever break down your heavy hammers. That is uh, your key to the future in the game. Uh, storm lanterns. Um, yeah, those I could probably could break down. And I would not really mind that. So let's grab a set of tools. And I want to double check once more that I got Absolutely everything around here, um, except of course breaking down the crates, which I could probably do that as well. Just to see once and for all if there's anything inside them. That's empty. Empty, empty. Empty, empty. Okay. So if we looked here, we should get this um, this fuel back if we were to harvest it. Man, I could use a drink. Take an hour. It's kind of put us at almost to the red on thirst. So have a drink there. You can see, we started at thirty-six percent this morning, and we're down to thirty-three percent. Uh, simply from starvation. So definitely a net gain overall, uh, even if we were to allow ourselves to hunger uh, throughout the day. Uh, but since we do have an abundance of food, I'm going to go ahead and eat these cattail stalks. We just have the three of them with us. Uh, it's not a lot of weight, but it's one less thing uh, to worry about clog the inventory. Okay, so there we have that. And now we have our 0.25 liters of lantern fuel. That's a separate little container there. We've gone from, oh, what was it, over, over a kilogram to 0.3 and then uh, 0.2. So the overall weight been cut in half on that. That's pretty good. Now how are we on this hatchet? 86. Is it worth it to uh, break these down? Maybe. See anything else there? Oh look at that! Actually found something. Okay. Can you eat trees? Can you eat trees? 
Uh, always thinking with your stomach, aren't you? Alright, so maybe it is worth breaking these down. Let's do it. Oh, wow. All kinds of goodies. Okay. Um, the two ropes. Those are for sure going to be some of our heaviest items. I don't even know why I bothered you know, picking all that stuff up. Be extra heavy. I took one out. Um, you need it to uh, repair certain things. I guess you don't need to break it down. You would think, having access to those tools, they would at least allow you the option to use them and make breaking things down, tearing it apart, at least a little bit easier. Uh, I suppose not. Right. Anything in this one? Nope. Alright, well we found some good stuff. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save the rest of the boxes for later. Put our bed back down. Still staying nice and toasty warm. Um, and we're going to go to sleep uh, for the night. And I do still want a cup of tea, so maybe I am going to have to start up the campfire. Uh, so we'll do take care of that next episode. My name is Michael Batman Guy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.